How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Boilai Hobby Time. This week I'm going to be building the carbon freezer from the Empire Strikes Back. I'm going to be building it out of an electric tea light candle, this LED filament, and some good old fashioned kit bashing. For the big claw and mechanical structure that sits above the freezer, I wanted to kit bash that. So I broke into my little bits box and uh, came up with a nice little collection of things. I had a photo reference of the freezer in front of me, so I was working from that and trying to visualize all these things being a part of the big machine. Pretty happy with uh, how it turned out, uh, considering that all this was just leftovers from previous projects uh, including the some gun pieces from the death trooper that I converted uh, a few videos ago I also used some sprue and some styrene tubing for the claws themselves I used some leftover landing gear pieces from a Millennium Falcon model that I put together a while ago I noticed that the middle section has this nice little angle to it so I cut those in half and I had four perfectly shaped little claws happen to be just the right size as well the only thing I printed specifically for this build was the floor a little cover for the tea light candle initially I had designed it with the little grates in there but it was too fragile, kept breaking, so I printed it hollow. Measured everything and it was a perfect fit. Very happy with how that turned out. Then it was time to move on to the kit bashing. Kit bashing is basically just putting a bunch of spare parts together to make something else. Uh, not really much else to say about it, so I'll just let you watch it. I didn't want to use the original LED that came with this tea light, so I took that off. It has one lead that goes right down to the battery, the other side goes through the switch, and then to the metal plate that touches the other side of the battery. So I clipped that right there and pulled it off. I also routed a little hole in the bottom of the cork base. This is to allow me to have the battery housing in there and it sits flush with the bottom. Then began dry fitting all of the pieces to make sure that everything fit and was spaced out correctly. Lastly, I added some tubing to the top portion by cutting up some little pieces of wire, drilling some holes all over it, and super gluing those in place. Oh. 
After all of the wires were in place, I felt like the top was done. So I sealed everything together finally with a plastic cement. And I cut out a piece of styrene for a lid. I painted both the top and the bottom with a shimmer metallic black spray paint and I put the tea light housing inside the little base that I printed. The tea light housing acts as a nice diffuser giving a nice warm soft glow. After connecting the wires to the battery I ran those through the bottom of the base and I glued that in place. Next, it was time to solder the filament in place. I used a 3 volt filament, a uh, flexible kind, found it on AliExpress. I'll put a link to it below if you are curious about it. Once that was glued in place, I just added a little bit of weathering and texturing to the top. I sprayed it with a matte varnish, and I used some black 3.0 to paint the base. When that was done, I called it good. Last week I hit 50,000 subscribers and I just want to thank all of you so much for helping me get there. That is also why I'm going to be giving this away to one of you. All you have to do to enter that giveaway is leave a comment on this video and be subscribed. I'm also going to be launching a Patreon featuring some behind the scenes content, other exclusive content and access to some digital downloads. I'll put a link in the description if you are interested in that. That's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great week. I will see you next time.